In this problem, we will construct a confidence interval for the population mean mu when the population standard deviation sigma is known. Here's the problem. Suppose the CEO of a large company wants to estimate the mean commute time mu for her employees. She determines that the mean commute time for a simple random sample of 40 employees is 25.6 minutes. Further, suppose that it, is no, it, it, that it is known that the standard deviation of commute times for all employees is 5.5 minutes. We are to find the 95% confidence interval for mu. When we want to construct the confidence interval for mu when the population standard deviation is known, what kind of confidence interval do we, we want? We want a z interval. Okay. So the 95% confidence interval for mu is given by our estimate for mu, which is x bar, plus or minus, it's a z interval, so we have a z critical value, times the standard deviation of our estimate, x bar, which is given by the population standard deviation sigma, divided by the square root of the sample size n. Let's go ahead and define some of these parameters that we have. What is mu? Mu is the mean commute time for all company employees. Before we actually construct the confidence interval, Let's check the conditions and the assumptions that must be met in order for us to construct the confidence interval. First of all, we must have a simple random sample. We do. We are told in the problem that we have a simple random sample, so that condition is met. What is the other condition that we must have? We must have that x bar is either normal or approximately normal. Do we have that in this problem? Our sample size is 40, which is greater than 30. So by the central limit theorem, we have that x bar is approximately normally distributed. Now let's figure out what our different entities are for the confidence interval. What is x bar in our problem? The sample mean for the commute times for our 40 employees is 25.6 minutes. The population standard deviation for commute times is 5.5 minutes, and the sample size is 40. The only thing that we don't know at this point is our z critical value. We are going to use a standard normal table to find the z critical value. We are looking for a 95% confidence interval. That means in our standard normal table, 95% of the area will be in the middle. That leaves 5% left over. That leaves 2.5% in each tail. We need to find the, the z value that corresponds to the 97th and a half percentile of a standard normal random variable. Let's go to the standard normal table and find that value. We need to look for the value point of 0.975 in the body of our table. We find that value right here. The 97th and a half percentile scores corresponds to a z value of 1.96. That is our z star or a critical value for this problem. So now we know z star equals 1.96. We have everything we need to construct a, our confidence interval. x bar is 25.6 plus or minus our critical value of 1.96 times the population standard deviation of 5.5 divided by the square root of 40. Putting this into the calculator, we find that the 95% confidence interval for the mean commute time of all employees is 23.9 minutes up to 27.3 minutes. The only thing that is left is for us to write the English statement. The English statement is, I am 95% confident that the mean commute time
of all company employees is between 23.9 minutes that's minutes and 27.3 minutes. I am 95% confident that the mean commute time of all company employees is between 23.9 minutes and 27.3 minutes. Now, let's do it one other way. Let's, let's do it using the TI calculator and show you how to do it using that method. On the TI calculator, let's go to STAT, over to TESTS, we want to do a Z interval that's given by number 7, so let's enter 7. That takes us to the Z interval screen. We do not have the data in our calculator. We only know the sample statistics, so we want to use statistics. We put in the population standard deviation of 5.5 minutes, the sample mean of 25.6 minutes, the sample size of 40, and we want a 95% confidence interval. Now let's go down to Calculate, hit Enter, and we see that our confidence interval is given by 23.9 minutes and 27.3 minutes, just as we found by hand. So what are the important elements of this problem? The first important element is to make sure that you define the population mean that you are interested in estimating. You want to check the conditions necessary in order to construct the confidence interval, and you want to finish the problem with an English statement.